Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 32 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, Facebook Marketplace, YouTube auctions, all these different places, you guys. There's so many places you can source. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you about my bread and butter items, which are items that I sold for $35 or less, items I consider to be a little easier to find. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, so the first item is this Blythe Little Pet Shop. Um, it's from 2010, so this one's probably not easier to find. It is discontinued. But what I did is I went to this garage sale, and you guys, it was one of the most unbelievable garage sales I've ever been to. Everything was like new old stock. They had been just, I think, keeping all this stuff in their basement. And they decided to have a garage sale. So I bought everything. Um, some of the stuff was really good. Some of it was more like lower dollar stuff. But it averaged out to be, I believe it was $3 an item. So fantastic. I ended up taking a best offer of $30 on this. The buyer was all in for $41.90. What does all in mean? That means with tax and shipping. That is what the total buyer paid to eBay. So you will hear me say that throughout the video. The next item came out of a Dibble box. A Dibble box is basically a reseller box. And I purchased this from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. Her link is down in the description. And this is a vintage collectible porcelain half doll vanity broom brush. It's made in Japan. You guys know I love selling made in Japan. Now, this did sell once and they did not pay for it. So I did relist it. This was more of a long tail item, but I ended up getting $35 for it. And the buyer was all in for $43.82. And this came out of a $100 reseller box. And if you guys want to see what else was in the box, I do have an unboxing on this channel. The next item is this vintage Ertl. I always called it ERTL, but I think that's wrong. Farm um, and country collectible animals. It is a bowl, you guys. And I actually listed this during one of my live shows over on my reseller testing Bolo products. If you guys want to hang out while I list, I do working hangouts over there. The link is down in the description if you guys want to come and give me a follow and hang out. These are marked on the bottom. That is what you're looking for. You guys, these sold really fast. Um, these and then I... I called it Schley, but somebody told me it's Schley. Um, the Schley animals also do well. So um, be on the lookout for the hard plastic, the, the quality ones, not the cheap plastic ones. They do have a following. I ended up selling these for $18 and the buyer was all in for $25.17. I picked these up at a garage sale on a big box of like um, horses and, and farm animals and toys like that. And um Again, this one sold pretty quickly. The next item I sold is this Fantasy Patrol Sweet Box uh, Fairy Patrol Bear. They're cake toppers. I have never heard of this. I ended up using Google Lens to figure out what this was. Um, it does say that on the bottom and it's got the date. I ended up selling this for $12.24 and the buyer was all in for $19.51. These came from a thrift store for a quarter. The next item I sold is this little buggy, and I actually picked this up at a garage sale. Um, it was a quarter, and um, it had a little doll in it. If I remember correctly, it was one of those little kittles, which is also a nice item to be on the lookout for. But this little buggy ended up selling for a best offer of $30, and the buyer was all in for $38.47. Now, I do feel like I could have gotten more if I would have held out, but I just went ahead and took the offer. I didn't have very much in it and there weren't really any comparables. So I kind of controlled the market on this one. The next item I sold is this IMAX American Classic Trucks. It's just a little like die cast truck and a, like a model. And I got this out of a mystery toy box from Auctions For You. 
And she is also linked down in the description. So she has a YouTube channel and she has selling events. And actually her and Donatella Bottolino, the other gal I mentioned, they go back and forth on each other's channels and they have awesome inventory, you guys. So um, if you're looking for inventory, go check them out. They source in major bulk and then they source it out to um, people that buy from them on YouTube. So uh, this ended up selling for, where is it? $14.40. The buyer was all in for $26.61. And again, if you guys want to see what else was in that $100 mystery toy box, you can go check out my channel. I've got a unboxing where I show you how I listed everything. The next item that sold is this little Avon fragrance brooch. It's got um, like a fragrance uh, glaze in it. And the glaze doesn't have a scent anymore. There, people are more buying it for the pen. Um, I have sold so many of these. I picked these up at a thrift store for 50 cents each, really not knowing what to expect. They are from the 70s, so I figured they would be somewhat collectible, but I didn't realize how quickly they would sell. This one sold for $18, and the buyer was all in for $25.08. The next item that sold is this Fisher Price Little People Magic of Disney Mickey Mouse and Pluto. And these are little little people toys, you guys. They're kind of the chunky, um, chunky ones. They're not the wood and the real old ones. And these I got at a thrift store for a quarter. They sold for $11.52, and the buyer was all in for $17.89. The next item I sold is this vintage flower pendant. Um, I don't remember where I got this. It was probably just in a, I, I buy stuff like this at uh, garage sales all the time. I think this came from one particular garage sale where I bought out all their jewelry, but I'm not 100% sure. But I ended up taking a best offer of 15 and the buyer was all in for $21.67. The next item are these vintage 1960s mid-century modern brass butterflies and flowers. So they're like wall hangings. Really, really cool piece. I got these at a garage sale for $2, uh, sold them for $35. The buyer was all in for $67.36. The next item I sold are these miniature collectible mugs, you guys. These are for like a dollhouse, and they're really, really cute. They're porcelain or ceramic, and they're just really teeny tiny. How cute is that, right? And they've got people's names on them. I probably could have parted these out, but Nah, um, I ended up selling these at a best offer of 19. The buyer was all in for 26.31. The next item I sold is this vintage 1995 Warner Brothers Sylvester and Tweety Christmas ornament. And it did not have the original box sold as is as seen. And I sold this for $14. The buyer was all in for 19.80. And I picked this up at a garage sale for around a quarter. It was a bulk buy. All right, these ALF aliens, they came from the same bulk buy. So cost of goods, again, probably 25 cents, 50 cents, something like that, maybe even less. Um, these are little Russ action figures from 1988. There's three of them here. And I ended up selling these for a best offer of $18. And the buyer was all in for $25.63. And those sold pretty quickly. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Little People Aladdin Jasmine, Jasmine Magic Carpet. And I ended up selling this for $24.50 and the buyer was all in for $37.53. And I believe I picked that up at a garage sale and I can't remember what my cost of goods was. I know I picked up tons of Fisher Price stuff at this one garage sale. The next item I sold is this Gund Finger Puppet. It's a mini plush puppy dog. And you guys, this flew out of my store. I have no idea why. I It's just a little finger puppet. Um... I sold it for $14 and the buyer was all in for $20.30. My cost of goods was 50 cents from a garage sale. And they even messaged me asking me if I had more. So I don't know, maybe I missed something on here. Let me know if you guys know something I don't. <laughs> the next item that sold are these stickers. These are sticker potamus binder stickers. And you can see right here, they've got the little holes to fit into a binder. Um, so these are moon stars, mushrooms, kind of like hippie, happiness, peace, peace signs, you know, stuff like that. Um, I sold these for a best offer of $16. The buyer was all in for $21.56. And I got these at a garage sale for around 50 cents. The next item also came out of a dibble box, which is a mystery box from Donatella Bottolino. It is a money clip. And I ended up taking a best offer of $32 on this. And the buyer paid shipping and tax. They were all in for $39.20. 
And I actually had two of these in that mystery box. And the first one sold really quick. It had, I believe, a slightly different pattern, if I remember correctly. And, um, or the advertising was different. And that one sold really quick. This one was more long tail. The next item I sold is this For Real Friends Starly Unicorn Magical Sugar Berry. You guys, it is just the berry for the For Real Unicorn. So when you see these items, definitely pick them up because people find the For Real Pets and they're missing these items and they need them. This uh, Sugar Berry sold for $28, you guys. The buyer was all in for $34.45. The next item are, is these Simpsons Valentine's cards. So they're from 2001, 2002. So they are vintage. And these sold for $20.99. And the buyer was all in for $30.61. And I have another lot that is available exactly like this. The next item I sold is this Scentsy Buddy. And you guys, the zipper on this guy is completely broke. Let me show you here. Does not zip any longer. And it's still sold. I figured I looked it up. I might as well list it and see if I can sell it. And it actually sold pretty quick, you guys. I sold it for $8 on best offer. The buyer was all in for $15.10. And I got that at a garage sale for $0.50. Cents. The next item is this vintage MSN Pocket Gundam action figure. Don't know. Google Lens, guys, had no idea. I ended up selling this for $12.60 and the buyer was all in for $19.98. And I don't know where I got that, probably in a toy box. The next item I sold is this vintage Great Dane brooch. It is a pin and it is signed SFJ. I'm not sure what that stands for. I ended up taking a best offer of $14 on this and the buyer was all in for $20.47. If I remember correctly, this came out of a, um, little jewelry jar thing that I got at a um, garage sale. And I have on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, I unbox those or un they were like plastic jars. So I unjar them. <laughs> so if you guys want to check that out. The next item is this Mega Bloks Dora the Explorer. This came from a garage sale. I think it was like two or three bucks. Sold this for $14 best offer. The buyer was all in for $20.47. This puppet. Um, this one, I had no idea what it was. I just thought it was cute as can be. It's got this little ID tag on it and I was able to locate him. I got him at a garage sale for one buck and I ended up selling him for $28. He is RBP tracker ID dog. He is a hand puppet. Super cute. The next item are these Peter Pan coloring sticker books. I got these at a thrift store. I paid a quarter each for them. They sold for $17.50. The buyer was all in for $22.40. So they are from $19.97. The next item is this vintage dandy splish splash duck. I always pick up anything animated, almost always. Uh, these tend to do well for me. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are big money, um, but they usually have a pretty good sell through rate. Uh, garage sale, 50 cents, sold it for $14.40. The buyer was all in for $28.70. The next item is this Loving Family Dollhouse Little Girl. Um, I got her, I don't know. Um, I pick this stuff up, um, the Loving Family, on like Facebook Marketplace, and I pick it up at garage sales. So it could have been anywhere. But I ended up selling her for $11.52, and the buyer was all in for $17.73. The next item is this vintage Barbie um, from 1985. Now, I will tell you, that my husband found this when he came home from a garage sale and he's like, you told me to pick up Barbies. And I'm like, yeah. And he, I think he paid $3 each for them. So I went ahead and listed those for him. Uh, let's see, what did he sell it for? I took a best offer. He didn't sell it. He did sell it, but I took the offer of $32. I'm like, I hope that's okay to take $32, but he paid three, right? So 32 on that one. And the buyer was all in for $41.25 is this vintage Christmas tree shaped brooch. It's filigree gold tone rhinestone pin. And I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold it for $30 and the buyer was all in for $35.20. These Christmas tree brooches, they tend to do well no matter what they look like and if they're signed or not signed. Um, if they're signed, they're gonna go for a little more. This one was just so unique that I priced it high. I don't know anything about it. I am so far from a jewelry expert. I'm horrible at jewelry, actually. But um, yeah, this one did well. The next item are these 1991 Play School Dollhouse replacement kitchen cabinet doors, you guys. These are just the doors. 
Um, these came on a dollhouse that I completely parted out. I ended up selling just these doors for $10.08 and the buyer was all in for $15.39. The next item is this Cabbage Patch Kid doll clothes. It's a sleeper bag. And I got this at an estate sale for a dollar and I sold it for $25 plus tax and shipping all in for $32.65. The next item are these Sandy Lion uh, stickers. They're frogs and fish. And I got these at a garage sale for approximately 50 cents and the buyer was all in for $21.60. I'm sorry, they paid $21.60. They were all in for $26.10 for these stickers. And they've kind of got that, I forget what it's called prismatic look to them. That's what that's called, you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for old stickers, discontinued vintage stickers. All right, you guys. Um, I do cross post all my items um, from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. If you guys are interested in learning how to do that, getting on different platforms, you can use List Perfectly. That's what I use. It's an extension. And I have a demo video down in the description that shows you guys how I do that. Um, there is a coupon code, uh, Bolo Buddies, all one word. You get 30% off your first month if you would like to try it. I recommend the second level because you can bulk cross post. So typically what I do is I will start on eBay. I will pick like 20 to 30. I usually do quite a few at a time, 20 to 30 and get them all loaded over to Poshmark and Mercari so I can just kind of go through and finalize them. So it's a great way to get more eyes on your items. I always say that my items that are on eBay that are kind of saturated and not selling, if I put them on those other platforms, sometimes they do better. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, I do have videos, what sold videos for Poshmark and Mercari. They are hard good videos. I usually leave the clothes out. Um, I do still sell clothing on eBay also, but um, I'm trying to get away from it. So most of my videos are on hard goods. So there's going to be some more videos popping up here and a subscribe and another video down here. So be sure to check out another video. If it's your first time here, let me know in the comments how you found the channel. And if you've been here a while, let me know how you found the channel. I'm just kind of curious where everybody came from. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Check out those other links down there in the description. I've got Facebook and um, Instagram and all of that stuff. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.